Hey, nice, thank you for clicking on this video. Time is pushing on and the three of us here are up against the clock. That's a lovely evening bit of light. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. Dan of Camp Life Bushcraft, Rob the Wild Camper and I are out for a two-night trip in the Brecon Beacons in South Wales. We've started in the little village of Langfrynach and found the route up past Tregia Farm to begin the ascent up to the mid-summit of Bryn, just northeast of Fanny Big. The light is already fading, but I know the route well enough to lead in the dark. The lads are happy to trust me, apparently. Our target for the night is the flat ground on the top of Bryn, which is just off the rising ridge path. The lights in the background are those of Brecon twinkling in the distance. To approach the top of Bryn, we double back a little, staying on the paths as best as we can to avoid any stumbles on the tufty open ground around here. That's your good oh, help. Cheers, cheers guys. Mm. And we've arrived. The celebratory beer was first after setting nice up our tents. Cheers. It's a bit late, but I have a meal to sort out next. I have a packet of easy rice to get going first and then to leave on one side. In the pot first goes some mushrooms, then some red peppers, pre-chopped before leaving home to save bother out here on the trek. Some more sliced and diced veg and peas pop in before adding the sweet and sour sauce. The pre-cooked chicken pieces is an easy win. That's going in next. Rice out with an extra bit of heating and then the chicken, veg and sweet corn sweet and sour blend goes on top. Hot and tasty, easy to fix with the one burner. I do like my trangia. And then the custard and the little apple pies. I've carried enough to share with the lads. Very good. We have a bit of a tenting trio set up going on this weekend with three Hilleberg Actos all together. They do look rather smart all lit up this evening with the town lights of Brecon in the distance behind. With quite an adventurous day ahead of us, we didn't waste much time in the morning getting going and off on our trek. I'm starting my day with the usual easy to fix coffee and porridge combo.
The Acto pack-up is easy, pegs out, pole withdrawn, tent all rolled up in one go. Although it's not windy this morning, I routinely tether the end of the tent with a separate rope, either fixed back to the rucksack or to a separate peg. Saves an embarrassing run after a tent which could otherwise blow away. And we're off heading up the ridge from Bryn towards the high ridge line ahead. A mid-morning water and snack stop gives us the chance to consider the plan for the day. We want to get over Fanny Big and onto Cribbon by late afternoon so that we can drop down before sunset onto the lower ridge of Bryn Teg. Our first target though for the morning is the memorial and location of the Crash Plain. In July 1942, during World War II, a Wellington bomber crashed into the mountainside here, killing its five Canadian crew. Near to the stone memorial, there are two sad piles of wreckage. That's all that remains of the massive plain. We've only been going a couple of hours, but the lads want a coffee and tea stop. And to be honest, it's nice to sit back in the shelter of this spot with the sun just beginning to share some warmth in this late springtime morning. Back up to the higher ground again, we're looking out for the little collection of puddles. We could do with refilling a water bottle each so that we have ample for tonight and tomorrow morning. I don't rely just on the filtering of the Catandine B3 water filter. I use it as a first round of treatment and then make sure I boil it before using it later on. The trail then takes a relatively flat route around two large curves, essentially heading northwest to Fanny Big. Good afternoon. Hi. 
the views towards the peaks of Fanny Big, Cribbon and Penny Fan behind are so impressive this morning. The stop on the diving board is a must as Dan and Rob have not been here before. Photo moments are required as part of the visit. From Fanny Big, we need to drop down a bit to cross the gap between here and Cribbon. The Roman road cuts up the valley both sides and I have used that in the past as a way up from the Taffachen Forest. Just out of the wind, we're taking some time out for a lunch stop. I've got a soup to have. You could argue that the tin is heavy. Well. It is overall with the soup in it, but no other water is needed and once consumed the tin crumples down flat and isn't very heavy at all. down and then back up the other side is the route to take. It's now mid-afternoon and we have about four hours of light left, so not much spare time. We're aiming to descend from the top of Cribbon down the lower ridge route over Bryn Teg and that initial section is best done in good light, not in the dark. I have said before, Cribbon is my favourite mountain out here in this area. The views are impressive and the rocky features at the top make it quite unique. From the top, we take off north down the scramble to find our camp spot for the night. I think Dan and Rob are less than comfortable with this part of the route, but they're up for the challenge.
During most of the afternoon, I've been holding on to my hat to save it from being blown away. Sometimes I add a line to it, but I figured it wasn't too windy today. But oops, there it blows. And now I have some tricky scrambling to do to retrieve it. It has to be found. We've carried a beer each in our packs for opening this evening, our second night out on the mountains. Cheers Rob and Dan, we've had a good fun day out today. And I have another meal to rustle up tonight in my tent. This time I have some spicy Mexican style rice to have with chopped chorizo tried to start with in the pot. Peppers, mushrooms and another bit of veg in too, with a tub of tomato stirring sauce as well. It's all easy to fix and then to follow of course is the custard again with the little apple pies. They've crumbled a bit more with the journey they've had to endure today in my rucksack. This fine bright morning at this altitude is somewhat different to that in the valley. The cloud inversion is impressive, especially as it blows up the valleys. So it's important to make sure no rubbish is left, we leave no trace of our visit to this spot. My rubbish is securely wrapped up in these bags ready to dump when I'm back home. The route off back to the cars is over the lower section of Bryn Teg. We follow the trail back down through the farmland tracks before a slightly extended stomp along the lanes. I'll leave you with the concluding words of the lads, but if you have time, please take a look at another one of my videos on the Linley's channel. There are some link cards right at the end. A like, comment, and if you haven't subscribed yet, a sub would be most appreciated. Second. Here we go then. Come on then. Time is money. Thanks for watching and bye, bye for now. now.